we are entering into another session after we have learned about what is product its classification and so on now we are entering into another aspect we have already seen about what the branding is now some some more aspects are there when we are concerning or when we are going in detail about product there are some more aspects we have to learn one of those aspect is aspect of packaging we must have seen products coming to us with covers or it is covered in order to protect or we get the products safe we get the products in the form as it is to be and it is because there is a package for it for example think of a product which is coming without a cover for it say a soap or 10 kg of rice or the corn flakes what we are buying all those things comes in a pack comes in a cover outer cover and of course there can be number of covers so it is that aspect we are going to learn in the topic of packaging and labeling that is what we are going to study in this session so this session we will be discussing about the aspect of packaging and labeling so what is packaging what is packaging we are familiar with the packs for the products but have you ever thought what is it meant or what is meant by that packaging is nothing packaging is designing and developing a package for the product it is developing a package for the product or developing a cover for the product it is been put inside a particular pack in order to protect it in order to uh, keep it in the form as it is to be so de designing and developing a package for the product is called packaging and when you are looking at the packs of many of the products say lays or uh, uh, bingo or certain cosmetics uh, whatever be you can see that such a lot of uh, colorful things uh, such a lot of uh, different ideas have been brought in packages maybe the color scheme maybe the pictures used in that maybe the shape so why have you ever thought why they are doing all these things when they are designing a pack for a product in order to protect that product in order to keep the product intact why they should for all the for all these colors or all these shapes or all these designs because package is considered as one of the promotional tool or package is something which is encouraging customers to buy that product so it is also considered as a promotional tool package is also considered as a promotional tool it encourages people in making purchase for that product another thing is that some of the packages we can understand looking at the packages itself we can understand the quality of the product looking at the package the way it is being packed the method in it is be it which it is impacted the quality of the package looking at all these things we can have an idea regarding quality of the package at times not every time but you we can have a guess a rough idea of what packaging is or how, what product is or what the standard of the product is looking at the package so packaging is nothing it is designing and developing a package for the product now coming on to types of packing types of packing or types of package we call it levels of package levels of package the levels of package are primary package secondary package and transportation package what is primary package primary package is nothing primary package is the immediate container immediate container of the product look at a paste there is a tube for it so the tube is the primary package because it is covering the product it is a product it is covering the 
immediate it is covering the product or it is the immediate container and usually this primary package is been taken away when product has been used but for some products it is kept till uh, the end of life for example a toothpaste tube is kept till the use of uh, till the till we are using that particular paste so till the paste is over we will keep the tube whereas in some other cases for example when we are purchasing a shirt or a socks there is a plastic cover which is covering it we will throw it away but there are certain things uh, certain primary packages which have to be kept till the end of life so primary package is nothing it is the immediate container of the product so there are pictures are showing that immediate container so what is secondary package secondary package are the additional layers are the additional layers of protection that are kept till product is ready for use that is the additional layer for example if you are taking paste if you are taking paste the tube in which paste is filled is the primary package whereas there will be one more paper or cardboard cover will be there around the tube that is called as secondary package looking at the picture you can understand this is primary package this is secondary package so that is the additional layer of protection that is the additional layer of protection so that is what is called as secondary package now coming on to uh, third level of packaging that is transportation package the name itself calls out what it is when packaging is done in order to facilitate transporting of goods in more numbers or for storage purposes when more number of products are kept together we say that as transportation package for example uh, in a carton when more number of uh, toothpaste is been bundled maybe 20 or 50 or 100 is been put in a carton box which is meant for sending it to another place or it facilitates transportation or it facilitates storage so when this package is done in big boxes more number of products in a single box in order to facilitate transportation or storage we call it by the name transportation package so these are the three levels of packaging packaging is nothing else it is developing a package or designing and developing a package for the product and we said about the levels of packaging primary package immediate container secondary package additional layer of protection transportation packages when products are being packed in more number in a corrugated box or a cardboard box a carton box to facilitate transportation or storage we call it by the name transportation package now why should packaging be done why should packaging be done packaging be done because of the one of the reason is that nowadays we are much bothered or we are taking care of our health we need things to be safe so it is the rising standards of health and sanitization sanitation because when a product is packed properly, when a product is covered properly, we believe that there is less adulteration, there is less problem of product getting destroyed. So, to ensure the health related matters and sanitation purpose, it is always good that packaging is being done so that adulteration can be avoided. Any, anything getting inside the product, anything destroying the product can be avoided. So, that is one of the reason packaging is being considered very important. Health, the, we are health concerned these days. We need everything to be in a better condition, to be or to be uh, in a such a way there is no adulteration or any bad thing happening to the product. So, 
rising standards we have set standards of health and the sanitation cleanliness very high so that we always look for packed products that is one reason why packaging becomes important another reason is that nowadays you can see that more of goods we are purchasing it from supermarkets or hypermarkets or whatever be so usually compared with the olden times there was a general shop where you go and buy everything but nowadays you cannot see one most of the places you yourself has to take the products self service is been done everything will be arranged and you will have to go and take so when package packed packed the things are there it is it facilitates the customer it facilitates the customer to take the things looking at the package looking at the content looking at the uh, product we can very well easily take it faster or take it take the product whichever we want so self service outlets packaging is very important because it facilitates customer to get their products themselves so self service outlets are looking forward for packed products because there is no much salesman there or the traditional role of salesman is taken by packaging people help themselves to take the products from self service outlets so that is another reason why packaging becomes important third one is innovational opportunity now we nowadays when you are looking at many of the products you can see the packages are been done in such a way that it attracts us uh i still remember there was something called junior horlicks and when it was introduced initially that bottle was having a picture of small elephants uh, shape it was been done elephant's face was been the bottle was in the shape of elephant and years before when fruity was introduced for lower cost or with less amount lower cost it was introduced in a triangular shape package so all these things are new ideas new color schemes even you are looking at majority of the products those things will be in very attractive colors very attractive looks in order to attract the customers so innovations new ideas are been brought in uh, milk earlier we used to get it in plastic packets nowadays you can see that you can get it in tetra pack which can be preserved even without refrigerating so uh, without putting into refrigerator we can store the milk so that is innovational idea so if you are looking at a packaging packaging is a area where in opportunity for innovation is been provided that is also another thing which brings importance for packaging then product differentiation product differentiation product differentiation means uh, when we are looking at a pack itself we can understand many a things especially if you are looking at some of the uh, shampoo brands or some of the soaps which are using uh, uh, what to say medicinal in medicinal nature most probably they will adopt for green color or uh, when you are looking at uh, uh, some of the juice packets for each juice different colors are been used different pictures are been used so packs are been used in such a way that it helps us to differentiate the product whichever product for uh, what to say for hair oils of a particular nature one color is there for shampoos for oily hair a color is used for normal hair another color is used so if you are looking at if you are looking at the packaging itself a customer is able to identify the uh, material or the color or the size of the product or that so it is helping us to differentiate the products from another product as well as in the product line itself different of different nature we will be able to identify product differentiation is facilitated by packaging now another thing is that uh, what are why or what all functions do packaging perform what all functions do packaging perform it helps to identify the product it helps to identify the product 
for example uh, lime close up with a lime and all it is shown in yellow color or uh, fresh breathe red color or certain products we can very well understand look at the color itself looking at the color scheme looking at the uh, boxes we can very well understand it helps to identify the uh, products it helps to identify the products so product identification can be done looking at the package another thing is the product protection as i have said this package is basically intended to protect the product from pilferage spoilage or uh, what to say breakage leakage you can see uh, when you are looking at packing different things it is packed in the way is as it is to be uh, when you are using fragile things of course there will be what to say there will be uh, special layers in order to protect uh, that special kind of uh, covers are being used or when you are using when you are uh, bringing in certain things which are to be kept refrigerate package will be made in such a way so it makes sure that no spoilage is there no pilferage is there no leakage is there and no climate is affected so packages are being done in order to protect the product another thing packaging is helping is that it helps in use of product facilitating use of products uh, many of the products which we are using is made easier in order to use the product the size and shape must be uh, easy to open if you are looking at a fruit uh, juices and all there is there is a cap where you can easily pull it out and you can pour it it's a way it's facilitating the use of the products and toothpaste it has been uh, made with that material which is soft where you are pressing it will come out all those things and brushes of course when you are using uh, to reach it to different parts of our mouth they are saying that it is a bendable or it's shaped in such a way so every time uh, what to say packaging helps facilitating or it facilitates the use of product uh, a cap is given to the brush and all so all these things are helping use of the product convenient to open handle and use by the customers packaging helps another thing they are saying is that product promotion product promotion as i have said the colors the designs uh, the pictures the specialties of the package all these things encourages people to purchase the product so in a way we can see that packaging also promotes the purchase of product or it helps in product promotion it encourages people to purchase the product attract the people and may make them encouraged to purchase the product that is also another function of packaging now <coughs> something which goes along with the packaging is labeling labeling uh, the pictures itself say what labeling is so what is labeling labeling is nothing designing a label to be put on the package any label which is put on the package not only the name of the product other labels also this is a label again this can be a label the uh, contents or the methods of use anything can be labeled a designing a label to be put on the package is called labeling it vary from a single tag to complex graphics it can be a simple tag which is talking about the uh, the what the product is the price of the product or uh, regarding the discount of the product it can be a simple tag it can go to complex graphics uh, if you are looking at the packages you can see complex graphics are being used one of the graphics used is old spice so it can vary from a single tag to complex graphics and of course it provides detailed information about the product it provides detailed information of, about the products as you have seen here the details regarding the product is being given this is also labeling other one is also considered labeling so it can be a simple tag it can be detailing about the product
now what are the functions what are the functions of labeling or why should labeling be done or what are purpose do labeling serve it describe the products and specify the contents it says what is the product or what kind of product what are the components in the product uh, and uh, what to say all the details regarding the product is been shown through labeling in the labels which is been put it specifies and of course it specify the contents it specify the contents it specify the contents the contents will be written so what are the ingredients everything will be there it describe the product what is product is what all things are there in the product how it is helping us all the details regarding the product is been very clearly said what is speciality of the product what all uh, quality test it has passed everything will be there in the label uh, it will be there in the label second one is identification of product or brand identification of product or brand so the brand name is been displayed through the label or uh, what to say the logo is been displayed from which firm which company it is been which under which brand it is coming which company is producing all the details will be there in the product so it helps in identifying the product or brand from competitors brand so that is also another benefit again grading of products is been done grading of product is been done if you are looking at the shampoos there are different kinds of shampoos which is for soft hair which is for oily hair which is for normal hair so in the labels itself in the labels itself may be the color schemes used may be the uh, contents used all these things will be mentioned in the label or looking at label we can understand to which grade it belongs to to gr which grade it belongs to which category it belongs to or what is different from other other type of products so we are able to grade the product of which quality it is looking at the labels we can understand which is put on the uh, packages so packages and labels together gives us an idea regarding grading of the products again helps in promotion of products helps in promotion of the product now it is through the label which uh, uh we are conveying some of the quality of the product some of the uh, benefits of the products and all so there we are calling out or uh, here they are saying uh, what to say keep cloth look good and uh, machine in top condition regarding uh what to say some of the washing powders make everything clean white white whitest or anything they when they are conveying it through labels it is a kind of attracting customer it's a kind of uh, attracting the persons to make purchase so it helps in promotion label helps in promotion also providing information required by law that is also another thing provide information required by law if you are looking at uh, uh, some packets and all Uh, there are lawful declarations especially when we are uh, seeing some of the things which is not permitted for us it is very clearly written in cigarette packets cigarette smoking is injurious to health or in bottles uh, liquor bottles consuming alcohol is injurious to health or pan masalas such kind of things which are not to be used by us it is clearly said that without this warning if it is coming those products will not be allowed to be sold in country so some requirements required by law can be fulfilled with the help of can be shown with the help of labeling so it provides information required by law so when we are considering a product along with the branding goes packaging and labeling branding can be exhibited or brand name brand uh, brand image all these things can be exhibited through labeling and packaging